Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I'm really excited for this video. I've partnered with Motorola and Qualcomm to check out the Moto Z4 and also the 5G mod because this is a 5G upgradable phone. So we are gonna go around the city of Chicago, actually do some real world testing with Verizon's 5G network. So Motorola has invited me to their headquarters and we're gonna check out some of the labs where they actually do the 5G testing. Now, I do have the Moto Z4 right here. Let's go ahead and check out the phone and what makes it so special along with the Moto mod that you can attach to the phone to connect to that 5G network. Let's go ahead and get started. The Moto Z4 is very competitively priced at $499, and of course it gives you access to a wide variety of Moto mods that Motorola makes. Now, in the box, you get the turbo power charger, USB-C cable, SIM ejection tool, the guides, and of course, the phone itself. The Z4 is a very well-made premium feeling device. It has a 6.4 inch 1080p OLED display, which also does come with an in-display fingerprint scanner. And even at this price point, Motorola includes a micro SD card slot for expandable storage and yes, I do have to make note of it, the headphone jack. On the back of the Z4 is your rear camera and this has a huge 48 megapixel sensor with optical image stabilization and within the camera app, you do get a mode that you can quickly swap to called night vision. So if you are in a darker area or your scene is just darker overall, you can go ahead and take a sort of a long exposure shot to get a better picture. And of course, wandering through Chicago all day, there are a ton of great places to take a picture of. And they have a nice little feature where you twist the phone twice and it will quickly open up that camera app for you. Other features include chop twice for flashlight, a useful one button navigation system among others. And it also has the Snapdragon 675 processor from Qualcomm, which keeps things very snappy. And as I mentioned, on the back of the Z4, you do have some pins and that is because it is compatible with a ton of different Moto mods, including of course, the 5G Moto mod, which gives you access to Verizon's 5G network. Getting 5G on the Z4 was much easier than I thought it was gonna be. It honestly is as simple as just snapping the mod on the back. And if you are in a 5G area, it will just go ahead and connect to that network right away in just a few seconds. The mod itself is fairly light. It has a 2000 milliamp hour battery with a USB-C connector down at the bottom. It has antennas on both sides and the top and also has the Qualcomm 5G modem inside. Once you have the 5G mod connected in a 5G area, you will see the 5G UWB ultra wide band icon show up towards the top. And yes, that does indicate that you have true 5G connectivity. I had a great opportunity to sit down with some of the engineers at Motorola and they have been around for a long time. So they were very insightful when it comes to 5G networks and the 5G mod itself. It was really cool to see the progression of how the 5G mod came to light and just how hard the engineers are really working to get 5G rolled out as quick as possible. So we're here in one of the labs with Motorola and we have a node directly behind me and we're gonna run a lot of tests with the Moto Z4 and of course, the 5G mod on the back. So behind us, we have a Moto Z4 right here connected to the node, and we also are Wi-Fi hotspotting to different laptops, and we're gonna run some 4K videos, do some speed tests while a lot of things are running at once. Now to me, this was the craziest and coolest test of the entire day. With one phone on Verizon's 5G network, tethering to multiple devices, showing off a ton of different 4K videos, having a video call going on and running a speed test and still getting crazy fast speeds. It's just insane the bandwidth and capabilities these 5G networks have. At the moment, 5G is only available in select cities and luckily Chicago is one of them. So we're gonna go ahead and snap on that Moto mod and get some 5G going on the Z4, go around the city of Chicago, do some real world testing on Verizon's 5G network. Looking up, you'll be able to see some of the Verizon 5G nodes that are actually attached to light poles and other higher up objects that you will get your 5G signal from. To begin, outside, we are gonna run a couple speed tests, and just like in the lab, speeds are crazy fast, easily getting over a gigabit a second with these speed tests, even 1.5 gigabits a second on some of the tests. But also something to make note of is the latency that they have, checking the ping, sub 20 millisecond ping, even down to 13 on some of the tests that I ran. This lower latency is great for things such as gaming, but even other more advanced things such as potentially having a remote surgery handled, this latency will matter quite a bit. Let's move on to some real world testing. So you're not just gonna be standing in place 
place using the network all the time. So I wanna go ahead and take it on the go. And while walking, I'm going to download an entire series of Parks and Rec on Amazon Prime Video just to show you how fast it is and in the best quality. And as you can see, while we are on the move, it is flying through these downloads. It is just really quickly downloading every single episode. They almost just don't even stay on the screen in the downloads because they're going so fast. So it honestly will not take long at all to download an entire season of a series. Now let's say you are sitting waiting for the bus to come. Maybe you're sitting waiting for a train. You're probably gonna wanna consume some high quality videos on your Z4. So here I will test out just watching a high quality video in full HD and just test out how there is essentially no buffering when skipping, skipping through. So you'll see I skipped through the video at a part where it was not previously buffered, and then I will go ahead and skip back to a part that was not previously buffered, and you will see that it just starts playing. You don't really even need to wait for any buffering to happen. It's crazy quick. Now for me, I am always in the car on the way to the airport downloading things because I always forget to do it ahead of time and just on the way to the airport, I'm at the mercy of slower 4G speeds and on 5G, that definitely will not be an issue. Here is me downloading an entire movie in just about 10 seconds. Crazy fast and you can just start playing it on the plane. And of course, taking advantage of the headphone jack the Z4 has, maybe you want to download a podcast real quick. And on 5G networks, it takes essentially no time at all to download, and you are ready to go almost instantly to listen to that podcast offline. So that is everything I wanted to show off for now with the Z4 and the 5G mod and testing out Verizon's 5G network. Really awesome coming here. I really enjoyed going to the labs within Motorola. You could really see how much work is actually going into rolling out this network. Overall, I am extremely excited to see the future of 5G. I feel that it has a ton of potential in real world applications, and you just don't know how developers are gonna take this increase in speed over their network and utilize it within their apps. I'm really happy Motorola has stuck with using the mods. It actually allowed them to have the first phone that was capable on the 5G network with the 5G mod, which allowed for you to have those crazy good speeds that we saw today, whether we were doing speed tests or downloading an entire movie. And with the Moto Z4, you get a lot of features. In an affordable phone at 499, you have that 48 megapixel sensor in the camera with the night vision feature. You also have that OLED display, and of course, you can upgrade it to 5G with the mod that very easily, as you saw, snaps onto the back. And then inside, you have the Snapdragon 675 processor from Qualcomm, which keeps things very snappy and smooth. And overall, I'm extremely excited to see what 5G is going to bring in the future and also what Motorola will bring as well. For more information, just click the link down below in the description. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.